Oh shit, we found a hunter. Oh shit, oh shit. All right, welcome Hermit fans back to subsistence. All right, I have clicked the button. The hunters are enabled. So when daybreak comes, I don't know how fast they build because we've already got our BCU up. Normally they start coming a couple days after, but we've already got that. So they may come fast. So we need to reorganize what we're carrying around. We don't want to carry around too much stuff because we don't want to lose it. Um, arrows we want, some of those we want. Um, I feel like the rifle we should have, but maybe not. Um, maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just try the shotgun on them. Um, uh, man, we do have a lot of bullets. Let's, actually, let's replace our shotgun with rifle rounds. I think this is something that would definitely be worth upgrading. What's it going to take? Metal ingots, rope, electrical components, and weapon parts. Um, I honestly think... I oh, better take that back. I'm going to leave that there. The metal ingots are really what we're going to have to craft. Plant fibers growing up in our base. Um, we need the rope, which takes sinew. Um, three sinew, three cordage. We need like three of those. That's not really a problem. Let's let's do it. Let's make that. One, two, three. Um, how are we coming on? some of this. We could use some copper. I don't remember how many we needed. Let's go look. I've got an absolute horrid memory. Um, upgrade. And we're going for firepower here. Oh, so we, we need to figure out how many. We need two ingots. And the question is how many ingots or how much does it take to make an ingot? five each so we need to get up to 10 copper 20 metal daybreak's coming um the hammer let's not take the hammer with us we don't want to lose that we need to come across more metal parts um all this fiber let's quick go ahead and do that and maybe some extra cordage. Let's just use it up, get it crafted. And we're gonna put it in the box, store it away. We'll keep one of these fuel bricks to put in the fire. Cordage can go there, sinew can go down there. Um, I honestly think we could probably split that in half and keep half these bullets back in there. We got a good, good pile of those going. I think we're just going to let this run while we're out and about. Throw that in there. Yeah, we've got some more rendered. Oh, speaking of which, we better we better fill our plant life before we go out and about. Need some extra ash. Check on our garden here. It's actually pretty darn good, but we want to top it off before we go. Let's 
So there we go. So let's hop down here and fill up our canteens. Go away, Wolf. Nobody's messing with you. Throw those back in there. How are we doing on food and such? Man, I should have done this first. So now we gotta go out here. Fill that up. Put that in there. Um, we could definitely use some food. Um, let's go ahead and eat one of those. Should do us pretty good in the fruit and veg category. Just close. Let's eat a berry. Um, let's throw a chicken and a rabbit on fire quick. I hate this because we're wasting good daylight. We'll keep our berry water and our protein bar with us. We got to put away our cordage we crafted. Put away our ash. We do have a couple deer antlers from our hunting expedition. Come on, cook. How much biofuel do we have here? 68 plus the 16 in there. And it's about three quarters full, so we're doing well. We're waiting for that meat to cook. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything close by we can just snag up. Hope for some blueberries. There's some. Medicinal plants. We'll always take those because they can be crafted into biofuel. Some munitions we will certainly take. Is that a box like halfway in my base? It certainly is. Ooh, berries. We'll take them. Alright, so let's throw our berries in the fridge. Check our food. It looks to be done. Heat that stuff up. Let's throw this extra stuff in the boxes. Alright. We are going to go adventuring. Oops, I got myself stuck in the door. Um, I think pretty much, look at that, Murph is still taking a nap up there. Um, you know, I'll basically try to bring you back if anything exciting happens. If we happen to wander upon a hunter camp or any of that good stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are officially in pursuit of a deer. It saw us as soon as we saw it. Oh, and there's a bear in between us and the deer. Where'd it go? I don't know if that's the same deer or not. We're not getting a headshot though, that's for sure. Oh, we definitely missed that time. Total miss. Missed again. We're trying to be very specific on the head here, which is killing us. Try to sneak around to the side here. We can get a shot. Yeah, see, we're trying to aim for that head and just missing. And I should be looking for my arrows. I know somebody right now is screaming, pick up your arrows. 
I know because if I was watching somebody stream, I'd be that's what I'd be doing. I'd be yelling at them. Oh, I lost it. Stop, pick up the arrow, and I lost. Oh, there it is. I just didn't see it. that one missed. We are wasting a lot of arrows on this deer. Oh, see the wolf took off after it. Kind of wish the wolf would chase it down and kill it and then they could come in and harvest. Alright, I at least hit it. It's got to be down to the point where one more hit will kill it, whether it's a headshot or not. Oh, we got too close. Such a crazy threshold for how close you can get. Is it out in the water? I swear I saw it like swimming through the water. I'm going to be so mad if I lost this deer. I swear I saw it like right here. I guess I might as well pick up that kelp ball in there. I think I lost our deer that we've been pursuing and shooting at for a long time. This is the moment that I really regret leaving my hatchet back. Because I will always take copper. And you get a lot less even if you do it with the hatchet. Because there I only got one and probably one more here. And I probably would have got five or six if I used the... How many arrows? I got eleven. Okay, well... I'm going to go back at the grind here. I tell you what, we've been really good at medicinal plants this run, though. What are we up to? We're up to five. Plus, out of a box, we got a biofuel. So, basically, we've already gotten a couple biofuel. So, I'm never going to complain about that. All right, back to the grind. We'll see in a bit. We have found another deer. Oh, and I totally missed. I'm going for those headshots, and I don't see my arrow, but we want to pursue our deer, although there's a box over here. Chicken. I have a feeling I'm not ever going to find this deer again. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Two medicinal plants in a row. So, Winter Hermit Gaming has started a new Patreon page. Um, basically, you know, we're, we're at a level where, especially with the new thresholds for YouTube, we're, we're not making any money off our videos here on YouTube. We've got to have at least a thousand subscribers at this point. We're a long shot off. You know, we appreciate, hey, share this with your friends, subscribe. Um, we definitely like all the subscribers we can. We have a Patreon page. Um, link will be in the description. I'll probably throw it up here on the video on the end, too. Oh, how did that miss? That should have been a good shot. 
um, but basically you can um, commit to donate so much a month whether it be a dollar two dollars um, you know ten even twenty dollars a month and Winter Hermit Gaming we're gonna reward you for the different levels um, whether it be patreon access to our discord channel um, becoming our friend on Steam so you can see what we're playing at all times so you know what's going on in our gaming world what's gonna be coming out for videos um, to free games you know I've got some games that um, I've got extra Steam codes for that I can give away um, or you know if you commit to a high enough level um, we'll even give away games where you get to pick your game up to a $60 value. Um, so, you know, we reward you, and uh, we're going to pump that money straight back into Winter Hermit Gaming. Um, you know, some things we'd, we'd love to put into effect is, you know, maybe a new webcam so when we're doing live streams, we can have us up there so you can see us. Um, you know, upgrades to our system, you know, new rig, uh, a second rig so it can do all our rendering, um, so we can commit more time to actually playing and recording games. Um, otherwise, you know, we spend, spend a lot of time editing and then rendering the videos takes a long time, so that takes away from our gaming. And, you know, we got to have a real job to make uh, money to actually pay the bills. So, um, you know, if we can eventually start making enough money that allows us to uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more time to uh, play in the games you want to see and making videos of them and getting them up there. Um, so check out our Patreon page. Um, we love any support we can get even if it's a dollar every dollar adds up and you know like I said it's all gonna go straight back into this for you guys um, buying new games um, you know if we can build this channel up enough where we can start uh, start getting some games before they even come out so we can preview them for you guys that's that's all goals we have you know and again upgrading hardware adding additional hardware gotta eat some food we're getting kinda tired out here and it's starting to get dark so we better start heading home so yeah shameless plug but uh you're gonna hear us plug that Patreon page here and there. Just ooh, we got too close to that wolf. He's gonna be coming after us. Just because it's our way right now of um, being able to support this. Oh no. Oh man, okay, we're bleeding. Oh shit. Oh shit. Not good, not good. Okay, we spawn back at our base, which is good. Um, let's quick throw a fuel brick in there. Keep that going. Where is our body? Is that it right there? There it is. Uh, so where were we? Yeah, we were talking about the Patreon page. How we're... Oh, I got scared by Murph's body. How we're shamelessly going to plug it periodically. And because it's what helps support this. You know, again, YouTube's new thresholds are pretty high. So, you know, we're not, you're not seeing any ads in our videos. We're not, not making any money. Uh, 
Um, so this is just uh, purely a, a hobby at this point for you guys. Um, we enjoy making the videos for you. We definitely love to be able to get something back for the videos and be able to pump that money into more games, better hardware, essentially more recording time. Oh, I shouldn't even be looking for boxes. It's getting dark. We've got to get to our body, get our stuff. And then, ah, what are you doing? They're just so hard to resist. I have no idea how far out we were. I think we were still a little ways. Maybe right up over this hill. I think we're getting close. I do want to build my stamina back up though, so if I have to grab my stuff and run, we can. Oh shit. Not that button. Run. Run, hermit, run. Anybody following me? Shouldn't even be messing with this. It's getting dark. What are you doing? It's getting very dark. That's what I get for not watching my stamina, letting it get down there. been okay if we could have run. Oh, it's getting so dark. Oh, we're here. How far away is that wolf? He's walking away. All right. Now we're heading for our base. How are we doing on food? We're good. On the bright side, this is, I'm pretty certain, only our third death in our entire series. So I feel like we're doing pretty darn good there. Although, oh, I'm getting cold. Oh, leave me alone. Yes, I know, I'm cold. Stamina is dropping fast. And I think it's because I'm cold. Do I have my clothes equipped or do I have to re equip them? Whatever happened to all my clothes? There. Boots. I should have a shirt of some sort too, don't I? Yes? No? Oh, I don't know where it is. Must have lost that. Maybe we'll have to remake it because I'm pretty. I thought we had shirt, pants, and boots. Oh, would you leave me alone? Oh, don't even stop for the box. There's one right in my path. Eat some food that should help us out. Gotta be getting close. I can see my base. We're getting there.
Oh shit, we found a hunter. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, we died. Hey, um, well. Found the hunters. Now the shitty part is, um, we don't have a beacon for our base. Or we don't start in our base. Oh shit, that's the hunter again. What the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, let me push the button. Good God. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. I already do not like the hunters. It really sucks that it's nighttime. I can't see anything. That hunter is clearly near my body. And I've got to get there and get my stuff. So I've got my rifle, got all kinds of things. This just sucks. Even if I could get to my body. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to freaking die of cold. Are you kidding me? Oh no, it's my stamina. Either way, right there are both my bodies. Where's that freaking hunter? If I can at least get my stuff. Okay, I found the hunter again, but at least I grab my stuff so it restarts the timer. This is... Oh, God. Bullshit. Just for the record, Murph. Oh, there's a hunter right there. Just for the record, Murph. I hate you. Run. He's got to still be behind me. But I kind of want to get to my base and get in my base so I can have a second to recuperate. Okay. Oh, my lord. Okay. We got freaking rotten dead chickens in our inventory. Butcher them. I need to make a freaking health pack. Health kit. Um, I need some of these. Health kit. Go. Put that back. Um, we need to. No, not there. There, where's my rifle? Right there. I'll restore my health. Oh, my Lanta. Bow goes in the number four slot. Worthless thing, I don't even know why I carry it around. Maybe I had my pickaxe with me. God, I'm gonna feel like a moron if I was carrying my pickaxe around. I'll get my boots back on. Get that put away. Thank <laughs> you. 
That hunter must not have followed me, or he'd be on me like crazy already, I think. Um, what goes in here? Those. Oh. And the seeds. Cordage goes in there. Feathers go in there. That goes in there. We finished processing all that ore. Let's go ahead and finish this copper that we got. I thought we had two copper. Whatever, we must have lost stuff. For... By spawn, 350. Okay, good. Now we can spawn back here. Oh, goodness gracious. I gotta craft some arrows. Yeah, see, I think you lose part of your stuff each time you die. The hunter clearly didn't follow me. this box that's outside the base. Oh, so we know there's a hunter not far away. They're like right around the corner from our base. Sticks did I make? Six. So let's grab a few arrows. Oh, I need nails. Get us a few arrows back at least. Gotta get that back on a hot bar. Oh man, oh man. Um, let's put those back. Those back. Oh, see, I lost a bunch of these because every time I picked them up, I think I lost part of them. Well, we went from kicking butt to not doing so great, people. Well, these guys are getting close to done. Tomatoes are getting there. Before we go out, we probably better take care of them. Let's go ahead and water, fertilize our plants. Water and fertilize. Hey, there's a medicinal plant. We'll take that. That's one step closer to uh, being able to make another biofuel. I got some chickens I butchered apparently. Let's go ahead and we'll cook them before we go out. What do I have to put, put away? Medicinal plants and ash. Let's go in here. Boom. Boom. I only want that down there. Um, otherwise... Damn glow sticks. Worthless. How are we doing on food in here? We're doing pretty good in the food department. We have been for a while. Um, let's go ahead and craft a couple metal ingots. It's going to drain some of our 
resources, but that's okay. We'll get them done up. What do claymores take? Oh man, a lot of gunpowder. Go down and check our food quick. Yeah, food's done. And we'll eat one. Save one. Put our resources back in there. Eat some of that. Get a full belly of water. Get to pick up a box. Oh man, that's a nice one there. I like that. It is I'm losing all kinds of daylight and we're not even out and about yet. Um, we can worry about picking up that. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna do something here. I need a cloth and these. Grab some cloth. We're gonna make some health kits. So if we encounter a hunter, we can have a health kit right on our hot bar. Actually, I think I want that there. Oh, number five. Number five is an easy one for me to reach. Let's go find this bloody hunter and get revenge. He's gotta be like right up around here because we were getting close to base and we ran into one. We're coming this direction. Is that a base off there? Nope, that's a tree. Is it worth my time? Probably not, but it makes me feel better to kill something right now. We want this up in case we run into our buddy. There's one right there. couple of them though. That's just it is we've got it on that co-op play. Right there. Oh man, they bounce around. 
got one. Where's the other one? Bandage. There he is. Oh shit. Holy cow. Oh, we gotta bandage ourselves. Do we have another bandage? Oh, we don't have a bandage. Shoot. Eggs, some bullets. Let's go collect our stuff from the other guy and then we gotta go back to base. Man, nothing real amazing. We have got to get back. Oh, come on. I do not need hassle from you right now, Wolf. Okay, definitely got to have more bandages on hand. Yes, I know I'm bleeding. I should have some bandages in here. Okay, what's it take to make bandages? It's cloth. Let's keep a good three on us. Um, another health kit, I think, might be worth making. Cloth biofuel. This, get our cloth back, biofuel back, make another health kit. Um, our gun parts are clearly over in there. We've got some eggs. What do I gotta put in here? My medicinal plant. That and that. Um, we got some gun stuff, some gun parts. That. Bullets. We need more rifle ammunition. Question is, what's it going to take to make some more rifle rounds? Make what we can anyway. All right, got some rifle rounds. We could take some more of these now. Seven. I don't know as if we need to keep that many on us. Let's keep a few back. All right, all right. Um, we can make a fuel brick. Whoops, and then some cordage out of the rest of that, so we can put away. Oh, what do you guys think? Kind of an exciting episode. Let's go ahead and kill you, butcher you. We got two eggs now. Right on. We can eat that. Ooh, we don't want to be walking around with that. Did we get that from him or? No, I thought it was to be the one we crafted and we were walking around with it. That in there. We still got our let's fill up. If we just eat one of those, I think it'll get us pretty good. Oh, let's eat the other one. Oh, 
boy, I'm gonna have to grab some uh, trees when I'm out and about. I lost all my trees in our couple deaths. Finish this crafting, put that away. Semi a waste of a fuel brick, but we're doing pretty well with them. All right. Oh, that was cruel. Um, so I don't know if those guys had a base. Maybe we should have looked for their base. I don't know if they had anything set up yet or not. They may have not even had anything established yet. gotta be on high alert now. I remember when we first started playing those wolves and the bears they just they scared the hell out of us. And now they're just kinda like whatever and just run by them keep on your merry little way. Every now and then they'll get you. But these hunters oh man they are not to be trifled with. I'm not seeing a base at all. It'd be nice if you could put a marker down for their base. I see boxes every direction. There's two over here, one over there. And we still haven't seen a lockbox forever. Berries are always good. Oh, did I walk over to this or did it spawn behind me? Is this the one I saw? I don't know. Oh, I am so flustered now after that encounter. No, this is the one I saw. Boxes galore. We'll take all that munition supplies though for sure. We just lost a lot of it in our scuffle with the hunters. So scared I'm on edge again. I'm just worried every direction where these hunters. I'm trying to find if they have a base set up because I'd like to like to steal their stuff. My buddy Murph says, Oh you gotta you gotta turn on the hunters, because that's where you get all the good stuff. Oh, look at that. I said we haven't seen a lockbox forever. And look at what we found. A lockbox. Come on, bring on the adhesive. Glass panel, metal fragments, some ammunition, protein bars, lots of biofuel. Not a single adhesive, though. I like that biofuel, though. That's nice. And what's that? Is that medicinal plant oh how did I miss that I always feel like we should go back with some some game for some meat so we don't use everything up in our fridge Well, we did talk we needed some wood. And 
And those are the trees to hit if you want wood, because you get six wood out of them, plus that tree grub, which I know we're not using, we're not fishing. Oh, I just wasted a health pack. I hit a hotkey. That was stupid. So, note to self, we gotta make ourselves another... Another health kit back at the old base. And I know we've got a stockpile of wood that Murph and Bonnie helped build up. <clears throat> but I certainly like to keep that for emergency reserves or some major crafting building. did not find a base of those two fellas so I'm wondering if we didn't kill them before they established their base even oh there's a box I was going to go make my other health kit but it's crawling at me you going to go away Story there, Fred. No, that's the wrong direction. And that's kind of a weird little deal if they're in pursuit of you and you get on your base, they just like turn and run. Oh, yeah, more munitions. We'll take it. We need it. Fire doing our fires doing fine. All right, so what are we gonna need for the health kit? The cloth and right there. Man, we gotta start killing some rabbits. We're starting to eat up our our cloth reserves. Whoops. Getting a good deal of biofuel though. We got some glass panels, which are new for us. Um, what else do I got to put in here? The nails, the cordage. Got some seeds for in there. This here. We really could just go ahead and make some medicinal tonics, I suppose. Get a couple, couple more made. Fish oil, I don't believe, is actually good for anything other than making those, so... that in half so we can put some away so this stuff's gonna go in our food got a lot of ammunition stuff to put away so yeah I think we're gonna call that an episode and uh, we'll catch you next time again remember to check out that uh, patreon page for the winter hermit um, if you can and if you want to we certainly appreciate the uh, the pledges, the donations. Um, it'll really help support what we do here, help us make more videos. So yeah, Winter Hermit, we'll see ya.